Canyon doesn't sell well and General Motors is doing nothing about it. This truck has serious potential, but it's been left in the dust, with the 2025 model rolling out unchanged. Mostly. Sure, there are a few minor tweaks, but that is not enough to improve the position of the GMC Canyon in the market with fierce competition. To truly make an impact and put the mid-sized truck back in the spotlight, the company needs to shift gears and implement these changes, then watch the sales charts light up. The 2025 GMC Canyon sticks with a single-engine option, a 2.7-liter turbocharged inline-4. This unit, while compact, packs a punch, delivering 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. Paired with an 8-speed automatic gearbox it offers smooth shifting and enough power for a variety of tasks. Fuel economy is better than on the old V6, with up to 20 miles per gallon city and 26 miles per gallon highway. When it comes to towing, this engine doesn't disappoint, offering a maximum towing capacity of 7,700 pounds, a number that matched previous Duramax diesel setup. Okay, that's specifications sheet, but let's be real, many truckers already miss the V6. The Turbo 4 might deliver better specs on paper, but the driving experience is different. There's something about the grunt and smoothness of a six-cylinder unit that a four-banger just can't replicate. Plus, there's the issue of maintenance, turbocharged engines can be more complex and potentially more expensive to upkeep in the long run. And then there's the diesel, which has sadly been axed from the lineup. The Duramax engine was a favorite among Canyon enthusiasts, known for its torque and efficiency. However, tightening emissions regulations and the high costs associated with making the diesel compliant meant it was doomed, and unfortunately, it's not coming back. On the bright side, at least GM hasn't taken the hybrid route with the Canyon. For truckers, that's a relief. Hybrid pickups are often seen as a compromise, less capable off-road, not as satisfying to drive, and a headache when it comes to repairs. While the Canyon may have lost some beloved engine options, it hasn't been saddled with such a powertrain that would further dilute its rugged nature. The trim level lineup isn't so wide, offering just three primary grades, the entry-level elevation, the off-road-ready AT4 and AT4X, and the luxurious Denali and Denali Ultimate. This selection might simplify choices, but it also highlights a significant gap between the base version and the higher-end grades. For many truck enthusiasts, this gap leaves something to be desired, and it's where mid-range options like the SLE or SLT, similar to what GMC offers in the Sierra lineup, could fit in perfectly. The AT4 is the go-to choice for those who crave off-road capability. It's built to handle rugged trails and challenging terrains, but it doesn't sacrifice on-road performance. The AT4 offers a well-rounded package for drivers who need a truck that can do it all. For those who demand even more, the AT4X takes it up a notch with enhanced features, making it an off-road beast that can conquer just about anything you throw at it. On the other side, the Denali trim is all about luxury. It's packed with high-end features and tech, but this extravagance comes with a hefty price tag, and when you step up to the Denali Ultimate, it's easy to see how the cost can start to feel excessive. While the Denali offers an unmatched level of luxury, it may not be the best fit for those who prioritize price over opulence. Truckers have always appreciated value, something more than the basic offering, but without the high cost of premium trims. This middle ground is often where the best-selling trucks are found. The 2025 GMC Canyon leaves a lot of room between the elevation and the top-tier grades, and filling that gap with an SLE or SLT trim could hit the sweet spot for many buyers. The GMC Canyon positions itself as an upscale mid-size truck, with the base elevation trim already packing a lot of the features that you'd expect in higher grades. This includes a well-appointed interior, modern tech, and solid performance capabilities. However, with all these goodies, comes an entry price that's notably higher than what many rivals offer. For potential buyers, this premium starting point can be a major barrier, pushing them to consider more affordable alternatives. Despite its higher price tag, the 2025 Canyon is still within reach of being a competitive player in the market. It's not too late for GMC to fix this, and other issues we mentioned, and make the Canyon more appealing to a wider audience. By considering some of these updates the company could make a significant impact on sales without having to wait for the next major refresh expected for 2026 model year.